I'm Tay King, and I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all my followers and the people that have been liking my videos and just watching me. Um, everybody should be thankful for something, and I want to just say I'm thankful for hitting 5,000 subscribers today. And uh, because I hit 5,000 subscribers, I'm going to show you a little bit of my collection. So let's go. Here we have this nice beautiful door that's barely uh, standing. I managed to stain it, put it all together with some cardboard. Come on, let's go. All right, now I've got, uh, oops. Uh, I've got some tools behind here. It's a mess. Winter time, so there's always stuff on the floor. Here's uh, my area where I have my tools hanging up. Usually they're hanging up, but they're scattered everywhere maybe in the basement, the house, in this corner. Anyways, come on in here, this is the foyer. I call this the random moped uh, section. And uh, this is where I, my overflow mopeds are. Here we have a Swinger, JC Penny Swinger, that I just acquired from my buddy. Um, it's a project, it's not running. It just needs a top end on it, but uh, it should get running super easily. And over here we have a general five star. This is my wife's moped, one of her favorites. Um, it's not running either. What do you expect? It's a moped. Um, I think it just needs a new carburetor, honestly. But uh, gone through. And here we have a Blanco. Um, this is an all original, very clean moped. I found it on an auction, won it. It's got a little bit of a leak, there it is. This thing has 199 original miles. Come check this out. Everything is immaculate clean, paint job. Got the grocery getter racks in the back here. Went through the carburetor, went through the tank, started right up. Sat for like probably 45 years. Here's another, it's twin here, Blanco. Except this is all custom. It's got an 80cc planing kit, it goes like 50. All right, now before I show you this section over here, this is mainly poop, so I'm a poop guy for the most part, but I also have some Italians, some Japanese, Spanish, but uh, yeah, pooks are like Austrian. So, here you go. This is the random section over here, as you can see. And then if you turn over here, this is where all mostly of my pooks are. I guess you could say mostly, but like I said, this is like part of my collection. This isn't all of it. Here we have, let's start up here. This is a very unique, it's an Italian and Mexican hybrid. It is a Moto Pony 60cc mini bike that I found in an auction. With just the frame and the motor and the handlebars. So I found the tank online, got a custom seat, custom exhaust, fairing, made it into like a racing little mini bike. It's super close to running, but I gotta go through the top end. I think the piston rings are rusted shut, but very cool find. Here is my first ever motorcycle. 1971 Kawasaki 90cc G3 SS. Fun, fast little bike goes about 65. This baby's only has uh, 775 original miles on her. Very cool find there. Um, let's go over another mini bike. There's a pit bike here. It's a 1978, I believe, Poop Magnum X. First ever pit bike. Very rare, cool find there. Goes like 40 with me on it, which is pretty good. Here we have a very special um, 1984 Poop Daimler moped. I won this at an auction. Paid a good amount of money on it, not knowing the details on it. Sure enough, when I go to pick it up, it has seven stinking original miles on it. I added two just to, you know, I got her running, took a test ride for it, and then put her to bed. 
So she only has 10 original miles on it. It's crazy, unbelievable find there. Here we have an Italian bike. It's a Pacer Super Sport. Very clean, very fast bike. It has the Marini motor on it, M01 I believe, with a reed valve, so that thing goes fast. Here we have another Pook Magnum. Very cool find, I just did a repaint on the tank. New decals, just gotta, I went through her clean everything, just gotta do is, all I gotta do is kick her over and see if she runs. That'll be a video coming up soon. Here we have another bike, very special bike. It was a roller and a, basically junk. A buddy, I gave him a deal where I gave him another general in exchange for him fixing this up, getting it running. And this guy is a German sax motor with a Taiwan frame and tank. Very cool bike, General 5 Star, just like my wife's over there. Magnum XK, very cool find I got here. Added the fairing to make it more race-like. All right guys, this is my wife's other moped that she has. It's a Pook Maxi with a custom rattle cam job I did. Thought it came out pretty decent. It goes about 30. Pretty cool. Call that the Flaming Flamingo. And if you go back into my few videos on my channel, this is where I found this barn find. Pook Magnum XK, just like this guy. But all original. Never even been cleaned yet. It's been sitting for 30 something years. Went through her. Started right up. Here we have one of my most special bikes here. A Pook Magnum LTD 1981. Found this at a recent auction where I won 10 stinking bikes and parts and it needed a lot of stuff for it but I ended up getting super lucky in my next auction that I bid on. I found the parts like the side covers, the rack, um, the other side covers on the other side so it was a cool find and now all I have to do is put gas in and start it up just like that guy. So that's we got two videos coming up if you want to stay tuned for that. Now here's the other half of the collection here. These are all pooks if you see over here, except for this guy and then let's go over here, I'll show you. This guy is a Moto Marina Sebring. Very nice color combo here as you can see. It's got the Marini motor like the Pacer Super Sport over there. That thing goes, goes about maybe 35, 37 with me on it. That's all original. Now starting with the silver one all the way down, this is my main poop collection. I have all the poop magnums and all the colors they came with. Um, I have the two Cobras. These are the Cobras here. Very special bikes, very rare. Especially this white guy right here. The white guy is very rare. They only made a few because uh, production got cut short. And I was uh, fortunate enough to snag one from a guy that lives in California and had that sent to me. I am going to make a video on that, so stay tuned for that. Here is the two Pook UPS Magnums that I've acquired. Somehow I found two. Those are very rare. The blue guy over there, I did a rattle can paint job because I found it as basically just a barn find, like really bad. It needed like an overhaul, so I just painted a unique blue. You don't see them. And then the other two down there, the red one, I found all original running. That was my first ever Magnum I got. That got me into the Pook Magnum addiction. And then over there on the very end is another Pook LTD like this guy. Except my buddy found it here locally. And uh, it was in a backyard. His dad gave it to, I guess his kid. The kid couldn't get running. He didn't know what he had, but he left it in pieces in the backyard. My buddy found it online, bought it off him for 200 bucks. I bought it off him for, I think, $700, and I had to do a complete overhaul, so I put way more on that, but in the end, it was worth it. We got her running. Great find there. And then last but not least, we have the Spanish guy. This is a Derby C5 Diablo. It is a dirt ped, all in all. Like, literally, it's a dirt bike and a moped because it's got the pedals. Um, bought that, found that in Canton, went through her, bought it non-running, got it running pretty easily with the help of my buddy uh, Austin Hunt, aka Moped Daddy. But uh, basically I just went through her, got it running, 
added this fairing to make it more original because it did have a fairing originally. I found a super close one to it. And that's a super special bike here. So guys, this is the moped collection. Well, not the whole collection. I got another video for that eventually, probably next year. But I just wanted to show you a little bit what I do and what I have. So you guys can experience it yourself. And uh, stay tuned for more content and all these videos that I make. Peace out. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video and you're curious about all the other moped content I make, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and be up to date on all my videos. I usually post daily. And also, if you're interested in this video, check her out. Or if you're interested in this video, check her out. Or if you want to watch both, go ahead and enjoy. Out.